what's up guys? I'm Kat and today we are talking about Bioshock 2. Now Bioshock is one of my personal favorite games and I'm going to assume it's one of yours as well. Besides some clunky mechanics, it was a near perfect game. It had an amazing setting, it had great combat, and it had a really innovative storyline that kept you guessing. You couldn't really ask for much more in a game, but apparently somebody did because along came a sequel. Now, Bioshock 2, to me, feels a little more like an expansion pack than an entirely different game. It's sort of what uh, Broken Steel is to Fallout. Bioshock 2 is to Bioshock, except with a new character. There's not a lot of surprises here, but, you know, why make changes to something that's so good in the first place? You know, Rapture might not feel quite as fresh and new the second time around, but there's still enough here to keep you interested. The game starts with a bang. Yeah, sorry, pun intended. And then you find yourself in Rapture, ten years after the setting of the first game. And now in Bioshock 1, you played as a mysterious human navigating this creepy world of Rapture. But in Bioshock 2, you find yourself as a big, lumbering, mysterious Big Daddy, also trying to navigate this world of Rapture. Now the best perk about playing as a Big Daddy? The drill. Now I use the drill more than pretty much any other weapon in the game because it's just fun. And in addition to the drill, they've also upgraded just the general fighting system because now you can essentially use plasmids and weapons at the same time for some really cool dual attacks, which come in very handy against the new enemies, which include uh, Brute Splicers, Alpha Series Big Daddies, and Big Sisters, all of which are pretty hard. But there are no traditional boss battles in this. Not to say that there aren't some noteworthy fights. Mainly, whenever you put a little sister down to collect Adam, splicers start coming at you from every direction, and you need to fend them off until little sis is done doing her job. I think the best strategy for this is to just surround yourself with trap rivets, which are another really cool feature in the sequel, and just watch everybody die. Now, in Bioshock 1, the thing that motivated most of the action was the story. It really drew you in, it was full of twists and turns. The story in Bioshock 2 is not quite as engaging, not to say it's not good, it's just that most of the mystery of Rapture has been solved. It is still really well executed, though. One of my favorite surprises was the inclusion of the insight into how little sisters see the world of Rapture. You actually get to see through their eyes, finally get to see why they call Adam-filled corpses angels, and I think that's a nice bonus. Overall, I was really impressed by Bioshock 2. I thought it was a great game. Yeah, it's a little repetitive of the first game, but there's enough new elements to keep it exciting. It's a fairly short game. I finished it in just over 10 hours. But there is some replay value here, especially with the addition of a multiplayer mode. Speaking of, I was pretty iffy on the whole concept of a multiplayer mode in Bioshock. I mean, what's the point? It just seems gimmicky. It didn't seem like it needed to fit into that world. But turns out I was a little bit right and a lot wrong. Sure, it has next to nothing to do with Bioshock, but does it need to? It's fun, and that's all that matters in a shooter, right? Now, my favorite mode is Team Death... Oh, whoops, I mean uh, Civil War, and uh, it's pretty much exactly what you would expect. You find yourself in Rapture, but a few years before the shit hits the fan, so everything is still pretty much intact. You choose from one of six characters, and you have at it. You have your plasmids and weapons. Both are upgradable as you rank up. There's also big daddy suits that pop up here and there, so grab one and kill everything in sight. Now, Rapture is an extremely chaotic setting for an online battle. It makes it a little hard to form a strategy, and the game also gets a little laggy at times. I've heard of some freezing issues. I didn't experience any of those myself. Now, overall, it is a fun way to burn some time while you're taking a break from single-story mode. If you're looking for modern warfare set underwater, this ain't it. But for fans of Bioshock looking for something a little different, you will not be disappointed in the multiplayer mode. So to sum everything up, Bioshock 2 is a cool, enjoyable sequel to a near-perfect game. I wouldn't have minded a little more innovation to differentiate it from its predecessor more, but overall, it's a very worthwhile buy for fans of Bioshock or just first-person shooters in general. Anyway, that's this edition of Game Break. I'm Kat. Thanks for watching.